At around 8.7 million, Switzerland ranks as the 99th most populated country in the world. And at just over 41,000 kilometers squared, it ranks as the 135th largest country in terms of land size. Yet somehow this mountainous central European landlocked country ranks as having the 20th largest economy on the planet, placing them above the likes of Poland, Turkey and Argentina, who have a population of around 38, 85 and 47 million respectively, and are all significantly larger. So just how is Switzerland so rich? In this video, we shall find out. So first things first, let's take a look at some of Switzerland's key economic and demographic statistics. As mentioned earlier, they have the 20th largest economy or GDP in the world at around 842 billion US dollars. This places them above Taiwan, a special administrative region of China, and below the Netherlands. It is worth noting that both Taiwan and the Netherlands are also both punching above their weight, as their populations are just 23 million and 18 million respectively. According to the World Bank, in 2020, Switzerland ranked as having the fifth highest GDP per capita in the world at around 87,000 US dollars. It is worth noting, however, that two of the countries that rank above Switzerland are microstates, and two are tax havens. GDP per capita is calculated by dividing a country's GDP by its population. So, roughly 842 billion divided by 8.7 million, which at the time of making this video means that Switzerland's GDP per capita is now closer to 97,000 US dollars. At around 65,000 US dollars, Switzerland ranks as having the fifth highest average salary on the planet. Although located in the heart of Europe, Switzerland is not part of the EU or NATO and only joined the United Nations in the early 2000s. It also uses its own currency, the Swiss franc, which ranks as the ninth strongest currency in the world. One Swiss franc is worth ever so slightly more than one US dollar at around 1 to 1.04. Switzerland has four official languages, German, French, Italian and Romanche. And finally, Switzerland ranks as being the third highest country in the world when it comes to the Human Development Index, only behind Norway and Ireland. So, Switzerland is a relatively small yet rich country which offers its citizens some of the highest living standards on earth. But just how did they become so economically successful? It's neutrality. Well, in the 20th century, there were two huge events which changed the course of humanity forever. This, of course, was World War I and II. Europe essentially blew itself to smithereens. Tens of millions were killed, infrastructure was completely wiped out, and economic progress across the continent was paused. However, there was a country that, although slap bang in the middle of all the action, remained neutral and practically untouched. With Switzerland being a landlocked, mountainous nation, it is a very difficult country to successfully invade and conquer. Switzerland strategically placed explosives on all of the roads, bridges and railways that led into the country. If Hitler's Germany did launch an assault on the Swiss, they would simply detonate the explosives and sail themselves off from the rest of the world. It would be an almost impossible challenge to navigate heavy vehicles into the country. Not only did being neutral during both world wars lead to Switzerland not having its country destroyed, they also profited massively due to all of the countries surrounding them needing support to rebuild. As they weren't affiliated with the Allies or Nazi Germany, they proceeded to do business with both sides. Now, wars are expensive as hell. You need to feed, house and train soldiers, buy expensive vehicles and weaponry alongside the grim fact that many of the soldiers who died during world wars were young, able-bodied men, the exact demographic you would want working and developing on your country. The money that Switzerland did not spend on fighting wars was invested into their economy, infrastructure and people. Its languages and geographical location. 
As mentioned earlier, Switzerland has four official languages, and most of the Swiss speaks at least two of them, plus English. This special skill set gives them more flexibility, opens more opportunities, and attracts the brightest minds to Switzerland from neighbouring countries without needing to learn the native language. This diverse language skill set works in conjunction with the fact that it is surrounded with the wealthiest regions of its neighbouring countries – South Germany, Northern Italy, Eastern France and Western Austria. This is a very wealthy region of the world, which means our next statistic comes to no surprise. It is, in my opinion, one of the most impressive stats that Switzerland holds. It has the highest percentage of its population being millionaires in the world. Impressively, around 15% of Switzerland's population are classed as millionaires. This works out to around 1 million people. For reference, Australia is second at 9.4%. Banking Swiss banking laws allow for the rich to enjoy extreme privacy when it comes to their assets. Governments can't take a peek into your account and see where money is coming from or going to. Switzerland has a long history of neutrality, so if you live in a politically unstable country that you might have to flee at a moment's notice, having funds in Switzerland might be considered a good insurance policy. Many Jews deposited large sums in Switzerland as Hitler rose to power. Not only this, but many ordinary people also deposited their life savings into Swiss bank accounts before and during the world wars. Money that was stolen by Nazis was also deposited into Swiss accounts. Tragically, but luckily for Switzerland, due to tens of millions of people dying during the world wars, most of this money was left unclaimed. Innovation Switzerland often ranks as being the most innovative country on earth. Switzerland has the highest number of patents per capita, the highest number of Nobel winners per capita, and is one of the biggest investors in innovation. This has helped Switzerland focus on quality and valuable goods and services that provide a huge export economy that is not reliant on resources and often less sensitive to external economic factors. Switzerland is renowned across the world for its extremely high quality, innovative products, such as luxury watches, chocolate, cheese, machinery, and drugs. Not the illegal kind, the ones that actually save people's lives. Switzerland is a world leader in hydroelectric technology and hydrology, building dams all over the world. It builds factories, research facilities, and major technical facilities. Switzerland is also home to the world's most valuable food brand, Nestle, who at the time of making this video is worth around 340 billion US dollars. Tourism The tourism industry is one of Switzerland's most important economic sectors and employs around 4% of the working population. With lakes, forests, mountain and clean air, Switzerland has much to offer its visitors. The tourism sector is one of the main drivers of the Swiss economy. Switzerland recorded a total of 12 million tourists in 2019, ranking 21st in the world. Switzerland generated around 10 billion US dollars in the tourism sector alone. This corresponds to around 1.3% of its gross domestic product and approximately 12% of all international tourism receipts in Western Europe. The key to Switzerland's financial success is its fierce independence, its emphasis on education and its neutrality. The Swiss do business everywhere with everyone and per capita is one of the world leaders in world assistance to other countries. Switzerland has become world renowned for its wealth and prosperity. Historical, economic and political factors have all contributed to the build of Swiss wealth. At times, these factors have been influenced by very smart people and businesses and political decisions, at other times simply by luck. Whichever the case, Switzerland is now one of the wealthiest countries in the world and has become a hotspot for the rich. Thank you so much for watching this video, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. It is 100% free and you can always unsubscribe whenever you like. Thanks again for watching and we will see you very soon in the next video.